Hi guys, it's Dr. Veronica again with my crazy healthy ideas what you can do for your skin to keep it young and sexy. But today is the topic lips. And in particular, I want to talk about a cold sore. That's why the vlog is really fast because I want to show you something. Look at that. It's a cold sore. So, what's the cause of that? Is herpes simplex type 1 that usually lives in the ganglia of the nerve. In this particular case, it lives in the ganglia of trigeminal nerve, which means three that supply innervation for around the mouth into the mouth, for the nose and inside the nose, and around the eye. So, what happened? Several, several possible causes. In my particular case, it is number one stress last week was pretty crazy plus a little trauma my lips become dry and what happened they there was a piece of skin hanging there so i pulled it up and the blood came out so i created the trauma other typical causes extreme heat extreme cold chronic or acute trauma dental work when you go to dentist and they poke the needle here to, to make you numb, so they irritate that virus that lives here. And as a result, right after dental work, you may have a cold source all over the mouth. And number four is this balance between arginine and lysine, two amino acids. So when you eat food that has high level of arginine, such as chocolate and almonds or almond butter, that also will, will create a cold sore. So now quickly into the treatment. What can you do? Step number one, eliminate the food that has high level of arginine, chocolate and almonds. Number two, take a lysine. Here it is. L-lysine. You can buy it in, it in CVS. At day one, when you feel that it's showing up, take up to three grams or 3,000 milligrams per day in divided doses. 1,000 milligrams at a.m., then 1,000 at lunch and 1,000 before bedtime. Do it for three days and then start to decrease dose to 2,000 milligrams per day to one and finally be done by the end of the week. Also, at, uh, here in the description, I will post some herbs that you can take actually. Try to eliminate herpes simplex virus out of your system. Not that easy. But you can do that. I started to experiment with antiviral treatment and I do that for people who have herpes simplex and also have an HIV. So read that, give me feedback. If you do not like this video, please make sure, write down there in the comments what you don't like so I can improve. See you again with Dr. Veronica. Bye guys.